Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat, in which case, not welcome back, original welcome. Hello. If you're not new to the channel, you already know who I am. You know what to expect from this awkwardness. I am testing out a new camera today, so we'll see how that goes. Please feel free to let me know in the comments if you prefer the old one or if you like this one. I don't know, we'll find out. So for today, I just thought I would do something a little bit simple and review some makeup for you guys that I have not tested out yet. Uh, the makeup is gonna be from Kaleidos, which is a really cool makeup company that Teresa is dead <laughs> that Teresa is dead introduced me to. She is another YouTuber and she is by far one of my favorites. And so I'll make sure to link her channel down below in the description. So go check her out. I will be reviewing some Kaleidos makeup for you guys. I ordered this stuff at the end of February and I did just get it last week, which was towards the end of April. And so that's just something to kind of keep in mind that it did take a couple months. But I think that the primary reason for that is that they do ship their stuff from from China. At least that's where my stuff came from. And so I would imagine that that is probably a big part of why it took so long to get here. I don't know why. So my nose has a problem with foundation where as soon as I put it on, it just automatically is like, oh, time for me to just run all the time, be really itchy because I don't want you to keep whatever foundation you have on your face, on your face. So I'm gonna make you touch it all the time. But I do already have uh, my base on. So I have foundation, uh, or in this case, I just decided to throw on a tinted moisturizer and then some blush, a little bit of bronzer, and then my eyebrows. But everything else is bare. I'm a naked little bebe right now because we have three eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna show you as well as a highlighter and two lip products. One is a liquid lip, which is this guy right here. There we go, <laughs> oh my God. And then this is the gloss. Okay. Now I understand why <laughs> YouTubers have to put their hand behind it because the camera is like, I'm gonna fixate on you and nothing else. Uh, this is the highlighter. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty. I would say that this is like a, a pinky, no, nope, not pinky. This is more of a light goldish beige, but it's super cute packaging. The packaging has kind of that like rubbery feel without being too hard on there. It's, it's super cute. And then these are the three eyeshadow palettes. This is the first one. And I will show you. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh God, I swear to God, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, I see. Okay, disregard. This is the next one. You can see the packaging is just super cute on these. This is what it looks like inside. Very pretty shade. And this is the third one. And inside. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna do one eye with one set of the things and then one set of the things, dear God, okay. I am going to do one eye with one of the palettes and the other eye with the other palette just so that we can get the most use out of the three palettes. And then I'll try and see if I can incorporate at least some of the colors from whichever the third one is into that. I'm gonna open all of them up so I can see exactly what I'm gonna be working with. So, okay, I think I think I have a vision. Yeah, okay, we can, we can do it. Start with transition shades. So this is the first eye look. Let's see if we can get it focused. So just really beautiful, super pigmented. I think that that pop of silver, just super crazy how, how nicely that one showed up on there. So I'm very impressed with that so far. So for the first eye look, just to run it down real quick, I used this one first and then I used this. So these two were transition shades. Then on the, the corner, I used this shade of brown to just kind of deepen that up. Then to finish for the 
the red in the under eye, I used this purpley shade. Then on top of the lid, I used this metallic red on the inner corner, outer corner. <laughs> <laughs> then in the middle, I started to blend with this shade and to finish it up, I used the silver on the inner corner and blended that together with this one on the, on the kind of one third of the way in on the eye and then just smoked it out underneath. So that is the first look. Let's go ahead and jump into the second one. second eye and I think it definitely turned out very nice. So the colors that I used for that one, I used these two first. Yeah, come on. There we go. These two first as transition shade. Then I went in with this darker shade on the end to kind of smoke out the corner. Then I started to use this lighter turquoise just to slowly start making the brown a little bit more gray to blue toned. Then I went in with this one more on the outside edge. And then I used both of them, this blue and this one, on my under eye to smoke that out a bit. Then for the glitters, I used this one right here on the outside edge I will say this one was a bit of a struggle I really had to to pack that on a lot um, just to get anything to show up for the middle of the eye I went with this guy this one right here is in the middle and I will say that that showed up much lighter than I was expecting in the pan it looks darker than what you would think and so I kind of expected that to be more of a aqua -y blue and it ended up being more of like a mermaid greeny blue just something to keep in mind and then on the inner corner I used this kind kind of goldish, uh, yeah, goldish silver shimmer shade. So in the end, the only shades that I did not use were, I didn't use this one in the middle here and the black one on the end. And then in this palette, I did not use the orange, but I used 100% of the shades in this one and the majority of the other. So there's only three shades out of 18 that I didn't use. I have to be honest, I thought that they blended like a dream. There they're not too dry, but they're also not too uh, creamy because one of the issues that I have, especially with my left eye, is if my eyeshadows are too creamy, then I run into a problem where it starts to like get really patchy, which is also part of why I'm not a fan of using too much eyeshadow primer because this eye just gets all jacked up. But I was able to blend everything out on both of my eyes really, really well. And so I think that both looks turned out awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the highlighter real quick and then we'll do the lips so I can give you reviews on those as well. So again, this is the highlighter. And I am just going to use my finger for this because I can't be bothered to use brushes for highlighter most of the time. I like to be able to place it directly. Not that a brush can't place it directly. I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. <laughs> I don't know how much it's showing up on camera. I'll see in the editing a little bit more because it's kind of hard for me to look that far out of my corner of my eye. But in the mirror, very nice. This one does definitely, like I initially suspected, have more of a pinky kind of sheen to it, which is very nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really pretty. One of the things with highlighters that I prefer is that when you're looking straight on at someone, you can't you can't really see if they have highlighter on. And it's not until they turn their head and the light catches their cheek that you can see it. That's kind of how I prefer. I will say that as I am looking directly at myself in the mirror, I can see a slight cast that almost makes it look a bit gray. Yeah, if, if you blend it out a little bit more with your fingers, that helps to make that go away. There are some highlighters 
use though where I don't have to blend it out quite as much for that and you can still see a little bit of a shadow but when the light hits it it's it's beautiful so um, that's just something to keep in mind though that as you're looking straight at someone this is one of those highlighters where you will have a little bit of a darker cast on there until it turns and hits the light so just keep that in mind but let's move on to the lips so we'll start off with the liquid lip which is this beautiful red there you go it's a very nice deep red oh my god my nose oh wow okay very nice it, it definitely as you're applying it feels very very like liquidy which <laughs> i guess makes sense but it it almost feels like it's going to be dripping as you're applying it so that's something to keep that's why i'm like I'm like holding my breath as I'm trying to apply it because I'm like, don't drip everywhere. Okay. I will say even though it feels very, very liquidy and it still does on my lips, it has dried down super quick. And so I guess that's just, maybe it has like some kind of cooling thing on there. It also, even though it looks very, very red in person, it does have a slight more pinky sheen rather than super deep red, which I think in the camera it's coming up as really deep red as what I'm seeing. But in person, it, it is a bit of like a lighter pink sheen while still having that deep red. So something to keep in mind. And and then for the gloss, we're gonna use this guy. <laughs> like, new camera, new camera, new camera, you need to work on your autofocus. Ooh, not what I was expecting. I definitely thought that given the like goldy pearlescence that it has inside of the container, that it would show up as also being kind of gold, but it does not. Uh, in the mirror, the flecks are almost purple, and so I don't know if that's because of the liquid lip shade underneath or what the reason for that is, but either way, but it's very pretty. Um, I really like this lip. I don't normally go this deep. Oh, you really gotta work on your phrasing there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't normally like this dark of a shade of red, but I think it, it definitely looks really pretty. So I love both my eyes. I think both of them turned out really, really pretty. And I'm surprised at how versatile I was able to be with all three of the palettes. When I bought this in February, I don't know if it still has this sale going on, but I was able to get all three palettes for $59. And so that was a really great deal to get all three of them. I can definitely definitely say that these two palettes I would have gotten anyway because those are definitely color schemes that speak to me but this guy um I never would have purchased this on my own hi editing me here so on the website, you can actually purchase any three of the five available eyeshadow palettes. So when I say that I never would have chosen it, clearly I would have. So just disregard 100% of the things that I say. Just because I don't tend to go for as blue greenish shades. I love like a deep green, but like a turquoisey blue is definitely not something that I wear very often. And so I never would have even thought to grab this one. And I'm so glad that I did because I was able to use so many of the colors on, on my left eye and I think it turned out really, really nice. So final thoughts for everything that I got. I think that the eyeshadows are gorgeous. I think that they're really, really easy to blend. And so I have no complaints on that. I think the highlighter, which by the way was in the shade Star Surfer. So if you're looking to get that one, that's the one that I got this little guy. I, I think though probably just given the fact that I have a little bit of that cast that I can see on there I wouldn't get another one of their highlighters but I am high probs gonna go back and get the rest of their eyeshadow palettes because they are the, the packaging is beautiful and the eyeshadows are really nice really easily workable and so I love those. The lips I think um, again this felt very very liquidy like it was gonna drip off of my mouth even though it did not and so I thought that was kind of interesting and did dry down very very quick so if you're applying it you need to adjust whatever you're doing on there if you make a mistake very quick because it dries super fast and the lip gloss I actually love this formula now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't really do the stickiness test before 
there's no stick whatsoever. It just makes your lips feel super hydrated, but there's there's no stickiness to it at all as far as how it feels. And so I, I love that. So definitely recommend the gloss. The liquid lip, I think, is a perfectly fine liquid lip. I just, I don't like sometimes when I feel like it's just so liquidy but I think the shades are gorgeous. So yeah, overall, great things. Uh, Kaleidos has some really, really great products, so make sure you guys go check them out. I'll add their website down below. I don't have affiliate links, obviously, and so it's not gonna be like a magic links or anything like that where I'm gonna get any kind of commission from you guys going to check it out, but please do. The company is awesome. Um, I don't think they're one of the super well-known companies, and so just, you know, show them some love, go check out their, their palettes at a minimum for sure. But yeah, I I love that. So hopefully, hopefully this was informative for you guys and that you enjoyed seeing the looks that I came up with. And yeah, if you liked this content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, I would love that. I would love to get to know more of you guys. And other than that, yeah, just go have a good one.